I'm Steve Kramer, the Kramer Law Firm. I'm a Florida bankruptcy attorney. Let's talk about when bankruptcy may be the wrong answer for you. One of the factors in determining whether bankruptcy is a good option or a bad option is the amount of assets that you have. A Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which is what most people are looking at, is a liquidation of your assets and debts. Now you have a certain amount of assets that are exempt from the bankruptcy, but they're relatively small. So if you've got significant assets, then bankruptcy may not make sense for you. Also, it depends on what your assets are in respect to and relation to your debt. If you've got $100,000 in assets and $10 million in debt, bankruptcy might be a very good option. On the other hand, if you've got $100,000 in assets and $10,000 in debt, then it doesn't make sense to wipe away that $100,000 to get rid of $10,000 of debt. The next factor that you have to consider when filing a bankruptcy is the amount of the debt. If there's not enough debt to justify the bankruptcy, then it doesn't make sense and we shouldn't do it. And this is a relative term. If you've got $100,000 in debt, but you're only making $15,000 a year, that is a mountain to climb. But if you've got $100,000 of debt and you're used to making $300,000 a year, bankruptcy might not make sense because it does leave some collateral damage sometimes. Third is bankruptcy may not be a great option if there's nobody coming after you. If you don't have creditors calling you, if you don't have a lawsuit pending from a creditor, it may be a little bit preemptive. You may be able to settle that debt, enter to structure settlement. You may be able to hire our firm to settle those debts for what could be pennies in the dollar to, to something more significant. But in any case, it may be a viable alternative to bankruptcy. And lastly, it may not be a good idea to file bankruptcy here in Florida if you haven't lived here long enough because you're going to be wasting your time and money. If you haven't lived here long enough to satisfy the jurisdictional requirements, which basically means that you are subject to the, to the jurisdiction of the federal courts in Florida, then bankruptcy is not for you. Or you may not get the benefits of Florida law with respect to the bankruptcy because you get a couple of extra exemptions for living in Florida, which are your, to your advantage because you can keep more assets. Why am I telling you this? Because this is important information to you, for you to consider when you file a bankruptcy. You can go to plenty of attorneys that will put you in a bankruptcy if you ask for it. But if you come to us, we're going to make sure it's the best option for you before we get you in a bankruptcy. We want to make sure it's going to work for you and get you the best result. And if there's another option, we're at least going to discuss it. If you have any questions, call me at the number below. I would love to talk with you and help you out in any way I can. Also, if you're watching this video on YouTube or on Facebook, click the like, like button below. That way your friends and family can share in the information that I'm giving you right now. I'm Steve Kramer of the Kramer Law Firm. Thanks for watching.